It was just an ordinary school day at Jefferson High, with students rushing to their classrooms and teachers preparing their lessons. But little did they know that this day would soon turn into a nightmare they could never forget. As the morning progressed, a few students and staff members started to notice strange behavior among some of their classmates. They appeared disoriented and had a haunting, vacant look in their eyes. Soon, chaos erupted as these students started attacking others, their once familiar faces now twisted into terrifying masks of aggression. Panic spread like wildfire through the school as the zombified students began to multiply, their numbers growing rapidly with each attack. The corridors, once filled with laughter and chatter, now echoed with screams of horror and despair. Amidst the terror, a small group of students and teachers found themselves trapped in the library. Led by Sarah, a resourceful and quick-thinking student, they barricaded the doors and windows, hoping to hold off the zombie onslaught. As they huddled together, fear etched on their faces, they could hear the relentless scratching and pounding on the walls. The zombified students were trying to break in, hungering for fresh flesh and blood. Hours passed, and the group's nerves were fraying. Sarah knew they needed a plan to escape. She remembered the old tunnels that ran beneath the school, connecting various sections. If they could navigate through those tunnels, they might have a chance to reach the gymnasium, where the emergency exit was located. Taking a deep breath, Sarah explained her plan to the others. They would move silently through the library's secret passage that led to the tunnels. The group armed themselves with whatever makeshift weapons they could find. Baseball bats, fire extinguishers, and even a few sharpened pencils. With hearts pounding and every sense alert, they crept through the dimly lit tunnels. The air was thick with tension, and the echoes of their footsteps amplified the dread that hung in the air. Suddenly, they heard the unmistakable sound of shuffling footsteps approaching. The zombies had followed them into the tunnels. Sarah urged the group to move faster, knowing they couldn't afford to be caught. As they neared the gymnasium, their hearts sank. A large group of zombies was guarding the exit. There was no way to sneak past them unnoticed. Just when it seemed all hope was lost, a flicker of inspiration struck Sarah. She remembered an old fire drill she had practiced years ago. The fire alarm was located in the principal's office, just above the gymnasium. Sarah and a fellow student, Chris, volunteered to create a diversion. They sneaked up to the principal's office while the others waited in the shadows. With trembling hands, Sarah pulled the fire alarm, setting off a loud, ear-piercing alarm throughout the school. The zombies turned their attention to the noise, providing the group with the chance they needed. They sprinted towards the gymnasium exit, dodging the frenzied zombies in their path. As they burst through the doors, they could see the sunlight streaming in. Without looking back, they ran as fast as they could, leaving behind the horrors of their school and the zombified students. Surviving the zombie attack in school had been a harrowing experience, one that would haunt them forever.